Hi friends, now let us take up the concept number 4.1. As I told you already, now I am uh, demonstrating three examples, uh, OCAJP example questions. So far I have been explained uh, about uh, international standards, international certifications and all that. But you cannot understand that, it is quite abstract. That's why I want to show you three demos, practically by that how international certification, especially OCEJP, help you to enlighten, uh, help you to enrich your knowledge. And uh, one more thing, once again I am repeating, for this purpose I am expecting the knowledge of Java basics. If you don't have Java basics and all that, then what you do, first Java feel good web series. I am offering to you freely, five training sessions I am offering to you freely, for that no prerequisites are there. If you are zero based also, if you don't have any programming knowledge also, you can understand that. First complete that before moving to this. If you have some knowledge, some basic knowledge of Java, uh, then uh, you can follow this. There is no problem in that. See the first question. Here, just the nature of the questions, how they develop and all that, first time you can watch this. Actually, whenever you write a Java program, invariably you write uh, means signature, public, static, void, main, strings, args, and routinely write. You copy and paste also, you don't type. Okay, but you never focus on that. According to me, 75% or 80% of students do not know the uh, what is the meaning of all those terms. Just blindly they write that. That is not good at all. However, now, here first time you have an opportunity, you got an opportunity to uh, focus on this. Out of the four, one is false. One is false. In some cases, all are correct. Then, where is, where is false and all that? You have to make a probe. Then only, you get 100%, you focus 100% on that and uh, you will be in a, such a position to explain to others. In such way, you can own the concept that you registered in your brain. That point, you have to understand. Okay, now let us see that. Where is the false? We have to find out. Public, static, void, main, strings, arcs, instead of arcs, what I, I wrote, I wrote this one, uh, then you have to think whether it is correct or not, second one, static, public, here, interchange, static, public, void, main, string, arcs, here, second one, static, public, third one, void, public, static, main, strings, programs, again, void, has qualifier made uh, put first uh, that is another issue and params uh, name we have written instead of arcs there are fourth one public static void main string values okay here you see square brackets also place change now first time first time you get a doubt which is correct and all that if you make a probe matter of five minutes if you fail also no worry and all that because i am giving you explanation that's why you logically understand everything. Okay, now one by one I explain. Public, static, void, main, strings, arcs. Arcs, out of this arcs is the user-defined uh, label, is a user-defined identifier. Instead of arcs, any name, any relevant name you can use. I used A, nothing wrong in that. Public, static, void, main, string, uh, A, square brackets. Square brackets can be placed here. Uh, that's why uh, nothing wrong in that. Second one, static, public, void, main, string, arc. Actually here, interchange is there, static, public. Static, public are two qualifiers and uh, you may interchange that, nothing wrong in that. Otherwise, you try once one program, you make a trial, then uh, uh, nothing wrong in that. Uh, you can, but don't do that. But somebody wants to test your knowledge, then you should not be caught. Okay, that's why make a test, then it, uh, you can own it. Third one, void, public, static, main, string, params. Already told you, params, nothing wrong. Any name you give, but relevant name, identifiable name you give. Actually, void, void means the method does not return anything. That should be prefix, that should be written just before main, nowhere else. That is the mistake. So, C is false. No doubt about that. D, public, static, void, main, string, values, uh, square brackets. Okay, already told you, any name you give. Here, one point I have to tell you. This is very, very important. Uh, string, arcs, or any other name. 
whether you have to put it here or put it here that is the doubt anywhere you can put technically anywhere you can put but this is the right one if you write like that what is the meaning of that i tell you what is the meaning of that arch is the identifier of array of strings arch is the identifier of array of strings that is correct actually uh, c fashion is this is c fashion so most people write like that but but uh, according to me this is the right one arc is the identifier of array of strings that is the meaning that's why that's why you can identify the c is false c is false and uh, in that way some cases all might be correct call right we got then you will be in chaos so something should be false and all that that is the real uh, mode of enlightening you uh, through international certification now here uh, i am uh, giving you the complete explanation you go through this parallelly you go through that whatever may be my explanation once you go through that permanently registered and with uh, all these alternatives once you write a small uh, test program by that you never forget it